Hello and welcome to Ben's Works. Some of you may have seen my last video where I bent some resin around a plastic pipe. So that was an experiment for this week's video. I'm going to do the same process again where I'm going to pour the resin into this tray and I'm going to mould it around a pipe. And then I've got plans to take that mould, put it with some wood and I'm going to make an awesome lamp. Once again I'll be using Artcast resin and I've got a really good selection of these candy inks. These are the premium inks by Just Resin. I'm also excited to use these. These are their new paste pigments. So for the first colour, I'm going to run with this purple paste. Now I'm going to try some ocean blue candy. I'm just going to chuck some white in there. I think I might just finish the colours up with some candy red. Now I'm just going to take a regular hair dryer and just mix all these colours together. Looks like we've got some really cool cells forming around here and a couple up around there. So I'm just going to get the air bubbles out now with my torch. So now I'm just going to let that dry and we need to find that sweet spot to where we can touch it, but it hasn't quite yet set. That way we can bend it around our pipe. So I've let this sit for about three hours now and it started to go hard. It's dry enough to where I can take it out of the mold but it is still leaving my fingerprints when I touch it. So I have got this piece of silicon here, it's like a little baking mat. I'm just gonna put that over the top, that way I don't leave my fingerprints in it. Once I take it out of the mold, I'm gonna wrap it around this pipe and we'll get our shape. So I've now got the resin wrapped around this pipe. Now the way I'm actually going to mount this to the lamp is I'm going to use this piece of wood here. And you can see that it's already got a cove built into it. And I want the, this curve here to match the curve of the resin. So I just need to put this bit of tape underneath just to make it a bit more rounded. So you can see there that the resin has taken the shape of the cove. So I'm just going to keep pressure on that now until it sets. That way it'll hold the shape. So I've let this sit for a couple of days. It's got nice and hard, so we'll just pull it off this. We'll see how it looks. So you can see here that it's kept the shape really well. So now we've got the lampshade made. The next thing to do is start making the base. Some of you may have seen one of my previous videos where I took a ring and I put a sand inlay in the middle of it. Now I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to run two grooves and put two sand inlays in there. And I'm going to make those grooves using this modified flat blade screwdriver. I'll just ground a point on the end here and that'll get me my grooves. I've decided to go with some blue sand for this one. And to set the sand in the grooves, I'm just going to use some thin CA. A 
sanded that base up to 12,000 and then I finished it off with some beeswax. Now that my base is all finished, the next thing I need to do is mount my lamp holder. The reason I need to do this is because I need to work out where to put the mount for the shade holder. To fix this mount to the base, I'm going to go ahead and drill some holes and then I'm going to use these 6mm dowels. Now before I glue this permanently in place, I need to go ahead and fix the shade to the mount. Now I'm going to glue down the resin and I'm just going to use some 5 minute epoxy. So I've just put some tape around that to act as a clamp. As you can see there, it's a nice tight fit. We'll let that dry and then we'll come back to it. While that glue is setting, I'm gonna go ahead and wire up the base. So I've got my two holes drilled. I put a six mil one on the back here and a 10 mil one on the top. Now I'm gonna feed my wire in and pull it out the top. Now it's time to wire up the lamp base. Now in Australia, you must be a qualified electrician to do any electrical work. Since I'm not, I'm going to take this to an electrician and get it all wired up. While the lamp's away being wired up, I'm going to go ahead and take this tape off and apply some finish. Now I've got the base back, the last thing I need to do is glue on the shade. Well I guess there's only one thing left to do and that's chuck a bulb in it and see how it looks. But before I do that, I just want to mention that I've started up a Patreon account. If you guys are interested in help supporting my channel, I'll leave the links down below, you can go check it out. You can also check out my Facebook and my Instagram pages. And if you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. Let's go check it out. You coming to have a look? Let's go.